Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can perfectly center any image, shape, t or text layer, or any layer that you want. So you can get the layer that you want perfectly in the center of your image. So this is a really simple method, and I'm just going to show you. Let's say you start off with a new 1000 by 1000 image or whatever canvas size you have, and you have a layer, I'm going to use a shape layer, that you want to put in the very center. So here's me just estimating it. I'm holding shift to constrain proportions here and dragging it out. And let me just change the color so you can see. Do a orange like the sun. Now when I drag around, you can see Photoshop has this gray outline of the layer. So that is the box that Photoshop uses to determine the shape of this layer and that's how it's going to center the image. So it kind of turns everything into a square. That helps you so you know how Photoshop works. But as you can see I'm kind of just guesstimating and it's near the center but it's not actually in the center. Now this is why Photoshop has the ruler tool and you can view this by going to command R and that brings up the ruler on top and the and the side. That's also under view rulers. Another thing you want to have turned on is snap. That's going to allow us our image to snap to these guides. So if you hide this layer for a sec, the way we can find the actual center of this image is by creating a layer new fill layer, solid color. It doesn't really matter what color it is. This is just something to fill the entire canvas. Now if you click on the top ruler and drag down you should see a line come out. And if you drag it to the middle at a certain point it should snap. As you can see it just snaps to the middle and Photoshop knows that's the center. So you can just let go there and it creates that line and you can also do this with the left side as you can see I already have it set but once you drag it to the middle it just snaps there and these are called guides so if you have snap to and snap to guides on that means that your layers like this shape layer will snap to the guides when you move it and I, that was pretty close for a guess there but as you can see I'm a little bit off but I just move it and you can physically see and feel or visually see the snapping and now it's officially or perfectly I should say in the middle of the photo so instead of just guessing you can have it perfect which is why Photoshop has these tools now once you want to hide these you can go to view uncheck rulers view uncheck extras which is guides so you can begin working again and if you ever want to remove a guide you can just drag it off and out of the image so this works with any layer text layers etc so hopefully you've learned about how things snap to guides and you can do, use this to do more than just center an image. You can align things to guides that you set up and position things exactly how you want. So more on this coming in the future. If you like this tutorial, make sure you like it. Leave me a comment on something you want to see or if you had trouble with something, and I'll be sure to help you out. So thanks for watching. Subscribe or check out my channel for more, and I'll see you next time.